Hello everybody and welcome to another special episode of the Migrant Hope channel. I am your host Charlene Assam and I'm the curator and founder of the Migrant Hope channel. The Migrant Hope channel serves to inspire intentional choices in the lives of young professionals and for us to make better decisions about ourselves. In this video I'll be talking about how you know it's time to leave your corporate job i know it's the summer we're all outside everybody's having an amazing time everybody's really thinking and reflecting on what they want to do so here i'll be sharing how you know you know sometimes you need to actually leave that job that you're in right now i hope you stay tuned for the rest of the video be sure to like be sure to comment most importantly, be sure to subscribe so that you never ever miss another episode. I hope that this video is as helpful as it was to me when I was working on it. And I hope that you learned something. Thank you and have a good day. This thing I want to say even before you even leave, even if you think about leaving is, this is a very, very important caveat. How much time have you spent really reassessing your career, really reassessing your job, really reassessing your life? I really encourage everybody to do something about that today. If you're contemplating, okay, maybe this is not the right role for me, maybe I need to switch, maybe I need to figure and find something else, but how often, how much time have you really spent reflecting on what it is that you want and how and why you're going to be, how you're going to, one, how you're going to live and why you're going to to leave right because I feel like a lot of times when people leave jobs everybody always asks them oh why are you leaving you know what was your thought process behind it is one they want to know two is why are you doing that you know we always say every day that we want to inspire intentional choices on this channel and I would hate for all of us to make decisions just based spur of the moment okay I'm tired I'm done boom 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 I'm out no but how much time have you really sat to really evaluate what exactly it is you want so that you're able to make the best decision because it's not just about leaving but it's leaving to do something better something greater something which you're actually very very happy about so this is very important so before you even walk Watch the rest of the video focus here just stay here for two seconds and let's think now the first sign guys okay we have said all right we have reassessed all right I may need to leave this is one of the very important things is you do not feel challenged by your work you wake up every day you do the same thing you do the same thing, you do the same thing. Like you do not feel challenged by this work. You feel like you're not learning. You feel like you're not growing. If you're anything like me, I don't go to work just to go to work. No, that's not how my mind operates. My mind operates in the sense of I need to know why I'm doing something, how I'm going to get the best possible outcome. And if and only I am learning. I'm one of those people who like, if I feel like I'm not learning something, oh no, I'll be very, very upset about the whole situation. So how you know sometimes, you know, maybe I don't need to be in this position or in this job is, if you don't feel challenged, you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. You just feel like, you know, you could literally do the work in your sleep. Like nothing is there to really motivate you. Like you're, you just don't feel empowered to go ahead and to keep doing what you need to do. That may be one important sign that says, all right, okay, maybe I may need to get out of here or find something much more beneficial. Now, the second thing that you may think, okay, maybe this may be a sign for me to actually get out of this position is you just feel like, your job is not in support of your side hustle or your passions. Now, this is particularly for my lovely, my lovely millennials. You know, we are all Instagram girls and boys. We are all seen, you know, everybody's an entrepreneur of some kind, you know, and I've talked about this whole entrepreneur wave and everything is, Sometimes, you know, many of us have side hustles. Some people work at another job. Other people have uh, consulting companies on the side. Other people are social media bloggers, but they'll be like a full-time attorney, full-time doctor, whatever the case is. But sometimes, how you know, all right, I mean, it's get out this. Your job is not in support of that. And what I mean by this is I don't expect you to go to your nine to five and start editing your pictures. You don't do that because there's a time and place for everything. But what I mean by this is your job takes too much of your time that you're not even able to find time to be able to do the things that you love. For example, I'm a CPA, I'm an auditor. During January, typically January to March, my business season typically is a, bit, a little bit longer than that just because of the nature of my clients. And I have, I've, I was in business season this year for a very, 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 very long time. And 
you know how i would assess if this was my case you know it's like okay i'm not able to find time to record i'm not able to find time to upload that's a problem because doing youtube really putting out these videos for you guys is really something i enjoy i love filming it i love editing i love just coming up with titles different topics i love prepping for my videos it's, this is how maybe i'll be like all right maybe this in a sense it's not really you know the role for me because i'm not able to do something that i love especially if your side hustle is something that brings income to you right now for me i've never earned a check from youtube i do it because i truly love it eventually if it does get to the point that i'm i I blow I'll take it but in the meantime you know I feel like it's one of those things that like if you feel that you're not able to really capitalize on your your, your side hustle it's just not helpful you know it's very difficult to balance time and to just balance things out then maybe you may need to rethink that role or that now the last thing that I'm going to share today is if you're being undervalued for your services this is very touchy because many of us feel like we're being underpaid. <laughs> we don't like our salaries, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, guys, if you're being undervalued for your services, should you be there? That's something to really think about a lot of times, especially in our generation. And this should really serve as a PSA for many companies. If you underpay people, especially in 2019, Chances that I want to be there are very, very, very slim. Now, there are many reasons why people may decide to stay in roles, right? It may just be they love the work. They don't care about the pay, but nobody likes doing free services unless it's the community service, unless it's, um, you know, it, it, it has, to, there has to be a reason, right? I don't think it makes sense for me to go to school, to, for me to get all this education and you're under, underpaying me for the value of what I'm doing. And truthfully, right, we really know the value and really our worth of the work that we're presenting. Many times, you know, I was recently talking to someone and she told me, she said, I, I quit my, my job because I felt like I was going above and beyond for what my regular job requirement was and I did not get compensated for that. That was it. And I said, you know, I don't even fault you for that because I feel like it's one of those things that like, I just, I feel like in this day and age, you should get compensated for the work that you do. I just, I don't think it's fair that we're not getting paid for the work that we're, we're doing or like if you go above and beyond every time. So this is one of the reasons why if you feel that way, maybe it's time to like get out of that job and find something and somewhere and someone that is going to be able to pay you for your services. Now, I just want to say this as a caveat. There are many times that you would stay in a position or in a job where even though you're getting underpaid, you're learning an incredible amount. You, you know truthfully that if you were somewhere else or if you were at a different place in your life, you will not be learning as much. So, you know, I want you to think about that. Don't just leave. Don't just jump, jump, jump. But this is where we come. You, you have to really reassess and think about why you're leaving, where your benefits are going to be, and really how you can actually maximize your opportunity for the best to be able to benefit you the most so i hope that you think about this and i hope that you guys learned something from this video if you have any questions please be sure to leave them down below or feel free to email me at the magic seamless dot at gmail.com and if you have any other suggestions likes comments make sure you do that be sure to also subscribe that's very important so then you don't miss any of our uploads thank you so much this day and i hope that you guys learned something and this was helpful in some way shape or form thank you